Sylvan. Shade. Are you in the market to purchase one of these two characters? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of both to help you decide better, right after this. What's up guys, it's your boy Gazda, back at it again with some new Archiro content for my Archiro series on my non-exclusive Archiro channel. If you are new to my channel and new to this series, this is where we play Archiro, which is a mobile game available on Android and iOS, developed by Habu Studios. It's a fun game, it's a hard game, and in this series we cover tips, strategies, gear, guides, gameplay. You name it, we got it, if it's Archiro related anyway. So if this is content that seems exciting to you, I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you never miss an upload. I upload about two times per week, and while you're at it, please leave a comment and a like. It greatly helps out my channel and the YouTube algorithm so that more people can enjoy my videos. But without further ado, you read the title. We're getting into Sylvan and Shade right here, right now, both level 68. So let's go ahead and dive into the details. Looking at the stats of both level 68 characters, we can see that Shade has 1,041 attack and 3,230 health, whereas Sylvan has 964 attack and 3,615 health. This is before any gear modification or level modification, which leaves Sylvan with a distinct health advantage and Shade with the distinct attack advantage. Now, diving right into this, we have both characters lined up side by side playing Frozen Pinnacle with the same gear equipped both using the staff and no pets. Now, RNG never being equal, I did my best to mimic the same abilities in both these runs as allowed, and here are the ones I was able to duplicate for testing purposes on this run. Bloodthirst, Attack Boost, Side Arrow, and Shield Guard. <laughs> Sometimes the RNG gods do not bless us. Now, you can tell in the video here are the base stats of their attacks without any abilities attached nor modifiers. For Sylvan, with no attack modifiers, we see him averaging attacks anywhere from 5,789 to more commonly 7,129 and doing critical hits in the 18,000 plus range. For Shade, with no ability or attack modifiers, it's 4,909, more commonly 5,139, and a critical hit of 12,000 plus. So, off of base stats and stats alone and the same gear, same level, with no inherent abilities factored in, Sylvan hits harder more often. But let's factor in the abilities where they shine. When we look at Sylvan, we know this about his built-in ability. It is automatic with every arrow shot, but which effect gets applied is the random part. However, some hit more often than others. That being Blaze and Bolt hitting at 37.5% of the time, and Freeze and Poison Touch hitting at 12.5% of the time, respectively. So, you've got to factor that in. However, remember, it is Polar Arrow, and Multi-Shot can proc multiple effects. His arrow effects are as follows, as written by the Archer Wiki. Bolt, 68% of equipment damage to target and 25% damage in nearby increased by attack boost. This is stronger than the regular bolt. Freeze. Freeze for 0.5 seconds. This is weaker than the regular freeze. Blaze. 30% 30, 30 per 0.33 seconds up to 6 procs. This is stronger than the regular blaze. Poison touch. 80% damage per second. This is a lot stronger than the regular poison touch. Not to be outdone though, let's cover Shadow Shade, the inherent ability from Shade. Shadow Shade is an automatic ability by Shade that turns on every five seconds. In this state, several of her stats are modified, which appears to scale with abilities picked up in a run. Now, according to some numbers crunched by Reddit user, photo underscore guy underscore Archiro, probably just photo guy Archiro, Shadow Shade increases the stats as follows. Now, he did not factor in the dodge because we still are calculating. 5% increase in crit chance, 18% in attack increase speed, and as Photogar Chiro states, in a sufficiently long stage, so we're talking probably about a 50 level chapter, 
it would be equivalent to about a 28% more attack power. Now also consider that Sylvan has a 20% increased damage against ranged units. They go on to state that factoring in the average attack modification of Sylvan's elemental arrow puts him at, and listen closely, 1.82 times his attack, whereas Shadow Shade is 1.77 times the attack. This is a difference of only 0.05. Extremely close and almost negligible. For data purposes, do take into account that Shadow Shade is only active half the time, whereas Sylvan is active every arrow shot. Assuming all this information is accurate until we know different, this would put Sylvan as the stronger one by an extremely small margin. I would like to call it a unique perk that you can consider, which is that Sylvan has all the elemental arrows built in, excluding Holy Touch, Dark Touch, and O'Neill's Light Arrow. This means you won't be bogged down with these abilities appearing in a run. It could give you room to pick up more worthwhile, higher tiered skills. However, Shade also has a unique perk. Shade has increased dodge, but again, we can't factor that in yet. So we don't know if, how much additive that is. But she shines in that she is really made for a perfect dodge build, which I'm showing on screen here. These items being a dual serpent ring, vested dexterity, and the agile amulet. Now, it's really interesting comparing these two because they are so close. It really is going to come down to preference. Okay guys, in the beginning of this video, I talked about a pros and cons list for both of these characters. So now we've synthesized a lot of information and data, so we're going to jump right into that list. But we're going to start with the con. There's one major con that both of these characters share. They're both $18.99. Jeez! That's a lot of moolah. So you're going to have to debate within yourself if they're worth the cost, because realistically that's the cost of an average dlc for a major console game and this is a mobile game so take that into consideration now because we're running long on time and i want to be good on your guys's time we're going to only give two pros per character the biggest pros that i see for sylvan is the fact that he is able to remove four abilities out of the ability pool so that gives you room to get abilities that are SS tier, like multi-shot, front arrow, or diagonal arrow if you're using the stalker staff. That is incredible. The second one is that his elemental arrows hit every single time. It's an active ability. What effect procs is the random part. Although statistically, it looks like blaze and bolt are going to be the most common. Now, moving on to shades two pros. Pro number one is that she's excellent for a dodge build because of her built-in dodge and the dodge when she's Shadow Shade. However, we don't know how much this dodge additive is at this time. It still is something. However, she's also really good for a crit build because of her higher critical strikes. So that's one pro. The other pro is that she has higher attack power than Sylvan. So if you're more of an aggressive player, versus in a player that takes a lot of damage, Shade might be the character for you. So overall, these are my two pros per character and the major con that both of them share. So I hope that that information serves you well. However, I recognize all you cool folks watching this video probably want to know my opinion at this point. And honestly, I'm going to continue using Sylvan for two main reasons. The attack is pretty close. But I like that Sylvan removes four skills out of the pool, and his ability is always active, albeit random. Now, what do you guys think? Let me know in a comment down below, and while you're at it, smash and obliterate that like button and subscribe to my channel while gently caressing that notification bell. It greatly improves my channel by helping with the mighty YouTube algorithm. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There's the stats and figures of both Shade and Sylvan compared back to back. Hopefully that illuminates a better decision for you for when it comes to purchasing. However, there's one key thing that I want to stress the most, which is again, I've said this numerous times in my videos, this is a video game. Guys, 
have fun with it. Enjoy it. Pick whatever character, whatever build, whatever weapon you most enjoy. I've seen people beat this game with less than whatever you would expect. So again, have fun with it. I'm just helping you to guide your decision. And before you go for the end of this video, I really want to recommend that you check out one of my other videos. You can click this link right here to find out more about the Ancient Legendary Gear videos that I do. You know, click both of them, but otherwise, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Gaza. I'll see you for the next one.